Okay, let's jump right in. I'm excited to show you my new tool called Arc. Arc is designed to set keyframe easing really quickly. So here I have a circle, and let's just take a look at the scale property here. So it's already animated, and if I change the slider, it's going to change the easing of those keyframes for both in and out. Now there are modifiers that change how both the slider and the button here work. So all modifiers work on either the slider or the button. To set these keys back to linear, I'm just going to hold down shift and press the button here. Now I could have done that on the slider as well. Now when I hold down shift, you see that the HUD here changed so that we know what we're doing. Now if I hold down control, you can see that this is ease out only. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and click here to set it back to linear. If I hold down alt, I'm going to affect ease in only. Now we have two other modes here. If I hold down control and shift, I get an ease out with a zero. So if I click this, it's going to apply an ease out, but then the ease in is going to have a value of zero. And then I can do the opposite as well. If I hold down alt, and shift. This is an ease in with a zero out. So I can easily shift between an ease out and an ease in here. So the nice thing with this button is if I have other properties and I want to apply that same amount of easing, I can just go ahead and select my keyframes and press the button and there we go. And then obviously all those keyboard shortcuts work as well and makes it really nice to apply keyframes to other layers. So if I have other layers here, we can just reveal all the keyframes and we can go ahead and apply our easing and apply them to multiple layers at once. So it works with one keyframe or however many keyframes you have selected on the timeline. So that's ARC. Thanks for watching.